Hi everyone, my name is Susanna Tesconi and in behalf of my colleagues Pierre Bourdain, Laura Calvé, Joan Arnedo from Uni Universitat Oberta de Catalunya, I'm very happy to uh, present some general idea about our paper reflecting on attitudes toward that to the use of immersive virtual reality in commercial video games. Our starting point was that death cannot be studied experimentally for obvious reason, but the video games, immersive video game, have the power to uh, to bring the player to feel emotion from a unusual situation or even impossible situation. Uh, obviously, the dying process, the experience of dying, is one of these experiences, and it can be replicated in in war. Uh, making possible to study experimentally the the lesson one somebody can can learn from the process of time. In the study, we we try to explore the use of immersive reality video games, such as a method to reflect on this existential fear of death and to learn about the experience that affect the player. Uh, in order to do that, we select three different video games with similar VR modality, but different gameplays and different evocation form of ideas of, of the death. We let 30 participants play with one of them for 15 minutes, and then we examine the through questionnaires and the implicit relational assessment procedure the their experience. In the section of methodology, you will find all the detailed information about materials, hardware, software used for the experiment, the game selection process, the recruiting process, the setup for the experiment, and the measurement and the instrument we use to, uh, to collect the data, to analyze the data. Uh, in the section of uh, results, you will find very useful um, visualization of the, 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 the different results, such as the scores about anxiety, uh, time perception, in-game, post-game experiences score, and fear of death, IRAP scores. Well, what we conclude? Uh, we conclude that the playing one of these games, one of the game, did not have a statistically significant effect on time perception, anxiety, in and out game experience or fear of death scores. But it seems that participants playing the action game, one of the games we proposed, are more inclined to lose track of time and that are showing a different attitude toward life and death. One of the limitations of the study is that the participant played one game, the game only for 15 minutes, when the uh, usual game gamer behavior is uh, to having repeated session longer sessions so we will we will try to fix that maybe repeating the experiment with a different timing uh, we envision at least four lines for you to work one of them is going on studying commercial VR video games and their effect on players' feelings, thought, and behavior to explore other perspectives for the extent of your death. We just explored three, so we have more, a lot left. And uh, to analyze the longitudinal effect of playing those kind of games, that related games, and to analyze if there are significant effect for specific section of population such like women or kids or another collective so thank you very much for listening and please read uh, our paper and uh, let us know your common critics uh, doubt and if you want to stay in contact just use the email direction you find uh, at the top of the paper thank you very much Thank you.